Hey, it's you! We're glad to see you! Come on in! We have a barbershop today from First Line Shave! It's a beautiful morning with the barbershop duet! Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, it's good to see you! It Come is. on in! So today, we wanted to mention something we found at the beginning of our journey. These are the little cabinets that we put our soaps in, in our mm -hmm. locker. We've got about seven now. Yeah, they've been multiplying as soaps keep adding. Yeah, <laughs> and one thing we were told kind of early on in the hobby is have your soaps accessible mm -hmm. and have them visible so that you know what your options are. And we love these because it almost makes it feel like we're going into a little store to pick right. out what and the soaps size we of want. the soaps fit perfectly so right. we can fit four per, four per shelf, shelf and then, and then stack up stacking high <laughs> and then there's two shelves per thingy so mm -hmm. yeah and if you see the price here on amazon mm -hmm. it's pretty good yeah it's pretty it's a good so, and when our friends open our shave cabinet in the bathroom we always hear them go what <laughs> the heck is going on in here so yeah and just... it's a perfect place to add our stickers to display oh, so right. we've been adding in the picture of our shave den so that's our little mention today so i think without any further ado it might be why don't we make the soap all right, so this is from the sales page at First Line Shave. The alley in the artwork is in downtown St. Louis on LeClade's Landing, known as Clay Morgan Alley. This spot is the most haunted street in the U.S. At the height of the cholera epidemic, late July, early August, 1849, Whoa. bodies were stacked up on the street four and five high. Yeah. The alley was used as a depository for the dead. Yes. There are claims that there were so many bodies stacked in this alley that you couldn't walk from one end to the other. Eventually, Irish immigrants were hired to transport the dead across town and bury them. Yes. Search the art for some Easter eggs we put in the label. Well, that got dark quick. Whoa, wow. we got bodies <laughs> eye level oh here. Gosh. We better call the Irish and have them take, whoa, are you kidding me? Right? Whoa, Who this knew? is unbelievable. And we know another little secret mm -hmm. about this barbershop. This delights the palate of a friend of ours. Yes, Sloppy Badger. We were asking him, like, what are the barbershops? And then he reminded us he's not a fan of Yeah, barbershops. the only weird thing about <laughs> Sloppy Badger is he does not like barbershops. He's tried. With a not. singular exception. <laughs> This, this one. bad boy. Mm -hmm. So for Barbershop Month, we, of course, we had to had see, what, to see what that was all about, right? Yeah. So let's have an unboxing. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so this box is from First Line Shave. All right. I'm excited. Let's ooh, the bubble oh, wrap. Oh, it's the bubble wrap. Wrap. Let's see the label. Oh, oh, we look already at have those a colors. sticker. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. wait what? Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's a sticker! A magic sticker, everybody! Oh, 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 I love it. This what wow. a beautiful. I have to say, the artwork label. from First Line has been like none other. They oh, put such right. a different, fun twist on things. Delmar Boulevard, I bought exclusively for the label. True. Though, let's be honest. And then June too, we just that. had that was that awesome label. And then yeah. there's a side label. Wait for it. Wait oh, for oh, it. Oh, right. There's there's still more fun. Ooh, All the neon lines oh, happening. Oh, right. And then the St. Louis art <gasps> yeah. looking behind the skull, right? And then <gasps> they even said that there were some hidden gems in here. I know, so I don't know if it's the you know like in the the labels of buildings. Easter eggs in the and artwork. And then look at there's like that kind of creepy lady going on. Right. I I saw happening i'm excited let's crack it up and have a first impression all right is it your turn to go here first? we go first impression. let's see what Slappy sloppy's bar barbershop is all about oh here. this poor y'all wow that's right. lovely okay okay let's see what kind of wish time. we get here let's go what type of barbershop are we in <laughs> oh, Sarah. Is it? I get it. Wow. I get Sloppy. Sloppy was right. Yeah? Sloppy oh. was right. This is a beautiful. Yeah, I would totally characterize this as a barbershop. Okay. But it's a totally different thing going on. So maybe less powder if that's not... I love it. Okay, you know how powder is like clean, smooth, and comforting, right? Right, right, right. So a barbershop should therefore probably right. be clean, smooth, and comforting, right? This is Gorgeously clean, smooth, and comforting. And then, same effect, exactly the same effect as powder. But, but no I'm not powder? getting powder. Oh. And I'm not getting a lot of darker spices. Does it go I like love colonial? They kept this. Oh. 
No. Because some of our other ones have had that. No. Oh. This is a place. It's a place in the time, y'all. This is not like a cologne that you'd wear. This is definitively oh. a barbershop, but now I get it. Okay, but this, a St. Yes. Louis barbershop, apparently. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, your turn. Your now turn. I'm even more intrigued. I mean, yeah. by the colors on this label, I've, I've pictured something vibrant. But know. It's just gorgeous. All righty. Let's take it see in. here. Take it in. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see what you're seeing. Right? Beautiful. Medium intensity. It's such a bright label. And because of that, I thought it was going to be like almost more intense of a yeah, scent for some right. reason. No. But it has it has this fun, mellow hit. And then it has a twist at the end. I do get what you're saying. It's not a powder, but it's no. in that same lane right. of being a powder with like scent intensity. Yes. Without being a powder. And it's calm and relaxing and groovy Ooh. and inviting. Is a fun word. It's yeah. just that y'all like and i totally get the st louis reference yeah. just a cool place to hang out a, a city just like a bustling city with a lovely perfect chrome and white barbershop yeah. on the corner that's mm -hmm. this and you know sometimes i get a color in mind like i get a blue or a green or something with this one i don't i don't really get a spe like specific color ah nice i get the whites i get like the yeah whites but that, the i guess that's what i mean like the brightness and... but i don't get a specific color Okay, you know what? Okay, let's have a grander conversation. You know what I really like about this? Certain soaps, they hit you with their full personality right out of the tub. Mm -hmm. But there are a few, 20, mm -hmm. 30% that have yeah. what I call the come hither factor. Yeah. That as soon as you smell it, you got to keep smelling because something immediately mm -hmm. welcomes you and then starts to change. I can take in my entire breath and I'm not done finding the end of that I would agree. come hither trail, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, and each whiff I was getting like something different, but my brain still couldn't pin down what that was. Right. And it's, it's different than other barbershops yeah, so far. Right, and it starts as something like clean just to get you in the door, but then it starts to go deeper, right? but it doesn't go all the way spicy. It doesn't no. go all the way to like a patchouli. Mm -hmm. It does not go all the way down to like your sandalwoods. It no. stops, it stops halfway and it stays bright. Like, this is a brightly lit, comforting barbershop. It's funny. Like, my brain keeps going down the list of what we've done so far, and it's just keep checking off what it doesn't have. Because we've had stuff that has, like, a rosemary, right. a basil, or something that's really potent, and I'm so not getting different. that. It's like, it, it's its own kind of lane, which is probably why Sloppy is a fan. Right. Because right. it's not in one of those pre-decided barbershop yeah. scents. And I know what most of you are thinking. I know you're thinking. It's probably a floral. It's probably... I don't think so. I don't, I don't think this is a floral no, either. I get like a drier scent. I, like, Ooh, does that make sense? Yeah. Not, not a drier like machine scent, right, but no, like a like drier. A but <laughs> yeah. Like a, yeah, like a drier scent. <laughs> right. It doesn't hit you with like a crazy sweetness of powder. No. The sweetness only climbs about halfway to powder. Mm -hmm. And then it just crests. And it just leaves you right there in mm -hmm. this beautiful mid sweet spot. But it, it, it does have a brightness to it. It's yes. not, it doesn't twist to a colony side, at least right. right off the puff, where some of the other ones do. They start barbershop and then they do a total 180. Right. This one kind of just stays right in that new middle zone. And it's like my brain is showing me the three clean pictures that mm -hmm. I love. So, like a clean barbershop, clean laundry, yeah. and a clean outside somewhere. Right. Like those three things are all here and they're all in the clean But it's side not of it. one and not the other. Right. It's like the combo of that feeling right. you get from right. all three. You put all three of those together. So you have to be wearing super clean laundry. There you have you to go. be in a super clean barbershop and right out in of the, shower. the middle <laughs> of a beautiful super clean park. Yeah. That is what this smells like. Okay, big question. As we lather yeah, this we gotta bad bust this boy, open. Why might this be the barbershop soap to end all barbershop soaps? Because Sloppy mm. does not care for barbershop mm -hmm. soaps. But Sloppy likes this. Right? What is it? Why? Right. And, and that's what I think because it's not. Like, if I didn't know that it was titled barbershop, I don't get that first hit right ah, away. Only right. because we've been trained to think barbershop has that kind of powder, bergamot, bergamot powder, right. maybe a lavender something. Right. And I, I get why this is a similar scent but it doesn't target those immediately. This has so much cool stuff going on, y'all. This has like the childhood smell of those beautiful like erasers and those little yeah, things that oh, you would collect when you were little, and it has clean laundry, and it yeah. has clean barbershop, and it has some clean florals, I think. But even where you oh. dug out through here, I'm getting more of a, a different hit at the end now. I'm curious, maybe in the ladder too, that that would open up. And I did just notice that this is Razor Ray Design. So Ooh. maybe he's the one that helps with the labels? I don't know. And y'all, I want you to all form a line at the door right now so you can smell what this is doing in the lather. Yeah? <gasps> it's oh. a little bit of a thirsty soap. She's taking a second and third dose. Ooh. Whoa. 
Yeah, Lather's Whoa. having some action go on over here. Oh, this is one of those smells that when I smell it, I go, why don't I know? Why haven't I smelled this before? Ooh, why fun. hasn't anyone built this into a scent before? Now I want another whiff. Is it my turn? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Wow. Smell okay. these okay, from here. brights, y'all. And then let's see what happened here. I think this is the brightest barbershop we've done yet. Oh, that might be where we put a new you category. Get that? What is that? Well, and so it's funny, it goes bright, but it doesn't go like a lot of the barbershops, the strength would like explode. Right. Of the nope. intensity. This but it's the right quality. Medium is, high, mm -hmm. right, right, kind of in the middle of that. But the like quality maybe a seven out of ten, right? Like a bright light. I get what oh, you're saying. Right. This this is a beautifully brightly lit barbershop. And know? it may be more of like a citrusy something hitting oh, out. Is that what's brightening? Ooh, maybe. I'm saying. I, 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 but if it is, it is it's a so balanced out by something yeah. in the middle. And that's kind of what makes that almost powdery smell without it being powdery. But it's clean. It's It's got that clean, <sighs> you know, after the barbershop scent that we've been getting, it right. does leave you with that clean, right. fresh something. Yes. That's where it's still in the barbershop lane. Oh. There, you're right. I think there is. I think there's a Something gorgeous floral hiding in this, but there is one way to find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is from the sales page again at First Line Shave. St. Louis Barbershop is inspired. Oh, it's inspired oh. by a fragrance, Elysium, by Roja Dove. Hmm, no affiliation. No affiliation. This is an aromatic fougere fragrance with top notes of grapefruit. Oh, that's what it is. It's a grapefruit Whoa. citrus. But it's a mellower one. It's Whoa. not. Oh, yes. So, y'all, if you're thinking like grapefruit with the spoon and the juice in your eye, get that mm -hmm. out of your head. This is the very center of the grapefruit. Right. The dapper, it is. Mm -hmm. The dapper, more mellow parts of the grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed with lemon, bergamot, and lime. Ooh, see, I was right. There was There's citrus. There's your citrus I trifecta. Was right. mm -hmm. But it's more, it's more in a part where if you were to have like a super gourmandy upscale mm -hmm. cocktail right. made of those three, mm -hmm. that's what this is. So it's not like it's a Kool-Aid version of like a no. lemon lime sprite kind mm -hmm. of thing. No, this is like a fine cocktail in a right. special glass, all sweaty with condensation. That's right. but it's it, it is a more mellow Ooh, side right. to them. That's like whatever citrus. we're mixing this right. with, it's not too citrusy. Right. That's but this citrus. is where it ends, and then it switches because we <gasps> Look have at the spice. Mm -hmm. It's not a deep spice. It's time. It's time, which is It's time. It's time. <laughs> which is funny because I was just saying how it didn't have a rosemary or a basil, but that's why wow, it has you time. Called that, and then galbdenum. <gasps> Rocky little resinous okay, and Artemisia. Ooh, I don't know if we've had that one before. That's where this gets spicy and exotic. I okay. think we have because I know how to pronounce it. Well, but awesome. I don't remember which it's one it's been a while. And yeah. then middle notes. Oh, okay, look at this. okay. Vetiver. Just a lovely mm -hmm. hit of the green, y'all. Just there to remind you that you're clean outside. This one though. This is what we were missing. Look. Juniper, Juniper berries. berries. So that's yes. the sweet, but it's not too Whoa. sweet. It's and like a that's natural sweet. It's against the grapefruit a little bit. Oh, and this next one, black currant and apple together. That's what makes Whoa, it different. Oh, y'all. And then finishing off with pink pepper. Mm -hmm. Cedar. You did say there was a little woodsy. Cypriol oil. Mm -hmm. And you have to pronounce this one. Nagamantha. That wasn't a cut just then. <laughs> Nagarmantha. Ooh, huh. whoa. And okay. Then, oh, and here's your here's your florals. All right. You're right about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Lily of the Valley. Yep. But that's not nope. that's not it. Mixed with jasmine. That's half of it. And then rose. Rose! Hmm. Yeah. And then that it keeps going. Nice. Look. Yep. Base, Base notes. notes of ambergris. Leather. Leather. Vanilla. vanilla benzoin. And, and labdanum. There is a so lot remember when I said you just don't have lungs big enough to get the full whiff to take this That's in? It's what? almost like seeing a painting where you can't back up far enough mm -hmm. to take it all in. That's this, mm -hmm. you guys. Whoa. Yeah, there's, it's fun. It still has like bright and mellow. I don't right. know how that makes sense, but oh. it has like that. I don't want to say stone, but it has something that really anchors you. And then the brights of the grapefruit and the flowers and the other stuff yes. just takes off to a new fun twist. This is fabulous, y'all. And um, I'm having a thought, so we need to take this a tiny bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is doing something. Mm -hmm. This is doing something that only a few of our soaps have done. This is taking me on like a three leg 
journey. But with that amount of scent notes, man. It makes sense. It makes sense. And, and I think this is why they say top notes, middle notes, bottom notes, because you get them in that order. Mm -hmm. And some artisans use that to their yes, advantage to true. take you on a journey in that mm -hmm. order. So here's what I get. You ready? Let's right, put let's this see. little path let's, together let's for our we're constant going. viewers mm -hmm. here. This opens in the barbershop. So you're like sitting in the chair. It's bright and sunny and mm -hmm. you've got some clean stuff around you mm -hmm. and on you. And you might even have a little hint of a bright cologne on that uh, day. Oh, maybe. Okay. Starts you in the barbershop. Right. Then, then you go outside. To the alley that's out front? Ooh, I don't know. But for me, you get resinous. That's where you get rocky. You get a little sandy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You might. If you walk out in the alley and it's made of like, it's not like, like you know, brick? concrete buildings. Yeah. Right. Rock or brick. brick? It's yeah, those. It has that it's natural. And St. Louis mm -hmm. is old, right? So it's, well, United States old. Well, even that and, alley's right, pretty old. It's, it's and, right. <laughs> and it's got the brick. And, the, and that could right? be what I'm smelling here. So, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then outside, it gets a little bit mysterious once you're out there. So mm -hmm. when you go out there, it's beautiful, clean. You get the brick. You get the sunlight still. And then the last part of it is almost like a cloud comes over. Mm -hmm. And it gets mysterious and as the page right, alludes to, going. a little spooky. Mm -hmm. Because bodies piled up eye high. They have to call the Irish. Yeah, you that's a little me? rough. But there's something, the there's something with the floral meets like the cedar and the juniper berries. Right. And those. However, those mix, it's a new fun like thing to discover. So I think that's the mystery of it that you're like, where is, what am I now doing? Now I know my sloppy loves this because mm -hmm. he likes to get his haircut, go outside and look at all the dead bodies. There you go. Piled up. <laughs> Thanks, all eye, eye level. To, but yeah. Wow. But I, I have to say, like, we've done almost a whole month of barbershops. We don't have something that is in this category. Oh, yes. I think almost every barbershop we've had, except for one or two, is like a little bit like each other, a little bit right, of a, a Venn diagram category, or certain maybe. things, but yeah. there were a few. And let's mm -hmm. give some credit where credit's due. Eleven right. was like this for me. This is its own thing. Razor Emporium Barbershop was like that. This is its right. own thing. It just tries to go in its own direction. I love that this is a cologne homage because maybe right. the cologne that makes itself. makes a little more sense. Right, I maybe the cologne itself was an homage back mm -hmm. to some barbershop but stuff, But it has right? that fresh clean and then it's not powder, but it's in that similar lane. So if you're not a fan of the powdery barbershops, this is definitely definitely one that you may want to look at right. because it's still it is still a barbershop but it right. doesn't hit you with all the powder fresh and if your nose does have a way of informing you if the place where you are is safe and secure mm. this is one of the most safe and secure places that i visited yet with my nose take this uh, in and just think like where you'd have to spend the morning mm -hmm. but there is something of a mystery to it oh at the absolutely right? at the end mm -hmm. you're like wait why does it even smell this right, right there's right. got to be something going on here yeah, I'm, I am curious, like, now that we know that it is kind of an homage to something, like, I wonder how that got figured out because it's such a cool story and right. everything that connects to it, even the labels, like, it has its own story and place in Barbershop Month for sure. It really does. And if you are heading to St. Louis, why, it's pretty mm. simple. All you have to do is gather up your family, tie your luggage to the roof of the car of the Wagon Queen family truckster. <laughs> and as soon as you leave Chicago and go under that St. Louis art, mm. you're going to find yourself a little bit lost outside the highway. You're going to see a, oh. a, a red Camino with no wheels on it. Now inside that Camino is my cousin Jack and you just got your own! So head over to firstlineshave.com to find this and a ton of other cool stuff. Back from my shave with St. Louis Barbershop. And I totally get it, Sloppy. It is not as barbershop-y as some of the scents are. And even when I was using it, I kept forgetting that it was part of our barbershop month. But it has a fun, nice, enjoyable scent to it. And the lather to this was pretty unbelievable. So I will definitely be reaching for this again very soon. <laughs> Welcome to Messages. So, I don't know how this is possible, but we are approaching our 500th subscriber on YouTube! Yeah, thank you, y'all! So we're gonna have a little giveaway mm -hmm. for y'all! We yeah. just did our first chiseled face, and we're gonna be giving away a chiseled face so full size mm -hmm. to a lucky winner from Amazon.com. All you have to do is send us an email to this address. We sent you at the thebarbershopdewitt.com. Mention chiseled face mm -hmm. in the description. And on March 17th, we're gonna pull our lucky winner, yeah. so stay tuned. Good and luck. hey, best of luck. 
So is this a good way to close, uh, get to a close of our barbershop month uh, stuff going on? You know, I, I for one, am actually delighted when Sloppy is right. And uh, <laughs> boy, is Sloppy right. This rocketing to the top of my F word list. Barbershop or not, this is one of my right? favorites. But I'm glad we were able to sneak this in. We were, right. we were trying to count the days that we had left in January and we were getting a little close, but we made up. What kind of movie do you watch while we wear oh. this? I kind of see like Ocean's Eleven, the original oh. in Las Vegas. Like it's yeah. fun, it's adventurous, mm -hmm. it's a little bit dangerous. It speaking. is, that would be kind of fun, I have to say. Something where they're all wearing tuxedos. A Bond film, maybe? Oh, no. The new Italian job, maybe. Oh, funny. Like I was going where they were all maybe tatted up because it almost looks like a tattoo kind of parlor right. logo or something yeah. with all the neon. Ooh. What streets have lots of neon in them? Like, ah, yeah. Well, maybe this be... one, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, even though it is a cologne homage, still somehow definitively a barbershop. Do you get that? I, yeah, I would agree. It's a different type of barbershop, which I right. really like because we're learning like barbershop can really be what you want it to be. So it, it doesn't have to be the powder. It doesn't have to be the bergamot and the lime. It may have a few of those, right. but then it can take you to fun new places. And the very bottom of this smell, you know what I like the best? It's almost like a mystery novel where the very last twist is a surprise, but a great one. Yeah. Way better than you mm -hmm. had in mind. That's wow. what this is doing. No, I do agree. And I'm really glad that we were able to sneak this in. And, and again, that Sloppy was right because it's fun to know barbershop can be such a broad kind of term now right. that we're getting to know what that is right and as we leave barbershops don't expect them to leave the show no, we no, still no. have a few on the agenda we for do. the weeks ahead so mm -hmm. stay tuned yeah don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop do what you'll smell better just watching this